internally there can be a knowing due to realization from within in the mind or direct experience that's the ultimate knowing so there's there's such a thing as a knowing without an experience so which is valid on when we're talking about cause and effect yes there's a knowing yeah, even you know that you have an experience that, that that you're aware of. Yeah, for example, like if we'll take realization, the first layer, okay, the way we receive knowledge, indirect knowledge, we hear it, we read it. Yes. Now maybe we don't we haven't realized it within. Once we realize it we, within, it's not indirect knowledge, it is a direct knowledge. It's a direct knowing of the mind. Of the mind. Yeah. So let's say somebody, you, you recognize that uh, the personality is made from reactivity. Now you hear it and you say, you know, it's interesting. Maybe no. As you start observing, you start to realize everything I identify with is a form of reactivity. It's a sense of person, the personality. So... It is reacting to likes and dislikes, to my likes and my dislikes. Ah, okay. So now it's a direct knowing, right? Yes. Yeah? You're, you're, you're having this understanding and experience of the mind about it. But what happens, what you're saying is, you didn't initially know that you would experience it. But over a period of time, you realize that you did experience yeah, you, it. So you just an associate to another time in time and space when you did experience it, but you didn't associate with it. Yes. Yeah, so it can be either way. Either you hear, you hear indirect knowledge, and you already have the knowing. So it's like ling ling. It hits you. There is a knowing. Aha. Or other times you hear it and you don't, it's not in your understanding yet. And as you reflect, because all the knowledge is within, you have cling cling, aha, there is a knowing. Yes? And then what can happen in the mind, there can be forgetfulness, and then again there would need the knowing and forgetfulness, and then, and that's where the ignorance is removed. The second realization is the realization of the self, which is directly experience and it has nothing to do with the mind. This is the real knowing of yourself. That's where real knowledge, uh, uh, real knowledge abides. Yeah, we can say that. So the more you are abiding in the self, the more you are abiding in the knowledge of self and from there knowledge would arise and be expressed through the mind you say that at the end that the and mind, from the there knowledge the knowledge will arise yeah. and be expressed through the mind why why would it go to, why has not the mind dissolved at that moment it's it's it should be expressed it, um, once it's, once it, you're in within the in, within the knowing of who you be, who you are, then there is no more mind. The mind is dissolves, is gone. You, am I right or wrong? At times, at times it is yeah, but, well, so. Yes, it still express is expressed. Back. So as it expresses itself. It's still, it's the mind that's expressing. It's not you. It's the mind is a servant for the knowledge. Oh, then it, the mind, bec then the mind becomes the servant of the knowing. Okay. Knowing, yeah. Knowledge is knowing of self. Yeah. Okay, then it becomes the servant. Oh, okay. It doesn't dissolve, as we were talking about before. It's it, it doesn't disappear, you know, that's a, so that's only a, an analogy that does it. Actually, doesn't it? It ends up uh, being a servant rather than a master. The the notion that the mind disappear. Yes. 
it's the identity yeah, the identification, identification that I am a separate entity, entity returns back to its natural state or not it's not a state the natural identification as being mm. we'll touch about identification Let's see.